creates hidden difference between Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium. So you might think that there is details already available there in the Microsoft application websites, right? But it is not correct actually. So there are a lot of things which is not there in the website, but still there is a difference between Pro and Premium. So we can walk through those in details in this, right? So the areas which you are going to cover as same as that, which is it is separated by three sections, collaboration and analytics, data preparation and modeling and visualization, and then governance and administration. So we'll go one by one and see what is the difference between pro and premium. So moving on to the first one, collaboration and analytics. This is the screen which is already there in the website. Even though I just want to go through this because just to recall those settings, just to recall those features and also connect with what is hidden in that. Right. The first thing is mobile app access, which is available in pro also power bi premium per user and premium per capacity. I have not compared this with power bi embedded. Most of the things are similar to power bi premium per capacity. So we are just going to cover three here pro premium per user and premium per capacity. Now you may think that premium per user and premium per capacity must have the same functionality, right? That's also not right. Actually, it also has a difference between uh, premium per user and premium per capacity. So the first one is mobile app access, which is available for all the users pro premium per user and per capacity. Publish reports and share and collaborate. Publish report to share and collaborate is available in pro and the other one also should have pro then only you can able to share and collaborate and the PPU is also the same. If you have PPU and the other person needs to view the report, he must also have he or she must also have premium per user license. Whereas in the capacity, it doesn't matter because you are have the capacity. Everybody in the organization can able to view the report if it is shared to them without a power bi pro or premium per user license patented report it is available only for ppu and per capacity not for pro consume content without a per user license right so for pro and ppu you must have a separate license but for consumption if you have premium per capacity it doesn't matter on premises reporting with power bi report server so if you have on-prem report server and if you have power bi premium per capacity you can use that but for pro and premium you cannot so this is the available features now the hidden thing is analyze in excel the first thing which is applicable available to all the license types the q a feature which is available for all the one the goals which is still in preview as per the documentation till now it is available only for premium per user and premium per capacity. There are sample templates available in if you log into Power BI app.powerbi.com. There you can able to see the goals samples, but you cannot able to develop that if you have pro license. And the insight, the quick insights, which is available in your Power BI report, which is also recently introduced, it is also available only for PPU and per capacity not available for Power BI Pro. And uh, the next is email subscription. So email subscription is also one of the few people are using it. So it is available only for pro users. If you have premium per capacity and you are not assigned the license to the end users, they can't able to subscribe the report. They must have a pro license and all everybody like pro PPU and PM per capacity can able to use this feature. But if you want to subscribe to non pro users and also subscribe to an AD group account, then being just a pro license, it cannot be possible. In that case, you must have premium per capacity. Then only it will work. Email subscription to other users like non pro users 
the consumers we can say and also a group of people if you want to send an email out and also if you want to export and email the power bi report with the help of power automate which is also an option available for that even the premium per user will not work it is only available in premium per capacity so there are few links have given here if you want to go through that you can also view that so moving on to next one is data preparation modeling and visualization so basically the feature available for this one is model size model size for pro i think this is mostly everybody is aware of that but even though um, is 1 gb for one file size and for premium per user it is 100 gb and for premium per capacity is 400 gb per file and the data refresh rate if you have pro license you can do it eight times a day if you have ppu 48 times a day and if you have P premium per capacity you can use 48 times a day and you can connect to more than 100 plus data sources it is increasing day by day so you can connect if you have any of the licenses and you can create report and visualizations with power bi desktop yeah that is possible in all the license even though if you don't have any kind of license power bi desktop is absolutely free you can download and install it and you can make your visualization analysis whatever you want in power bi desktop itself and the next thing is embedded api and controls which is also available for all the users and uh, use of AI visuals. AI visuals is nothing but use of key influencer, decomposition tree, smart narratives. So all these are all default AI visuals in comes in Power BI desktop. So you can use all these visuals in all your license types. And uh, advanced AI like text analytics, image detection, um, automated machine learning and everything that is only possible if you have premium per user license. Uh, premium per capacity if you have probably a pro then that is not possible and the next thing is xmla endpoint read and write connectivity so this is also helpful if you want to read write option in power bi data set at that time you also need power bi premium per user or premium per capacity for pro it will not work and the next is data flows in data flows you can use incremental refresh direct query for the data flows which is recently introduced and linked entities and computed entities and enhanced compute engine so these are all possible only in power bi premium per user and power bi premium per capacity now you may think that even the pro users can able to use data flows right but there is a check here so we can see it on the next slide so here what is the difference hidden features available for refresh is in data refresh rate you can do it eight times a day and 48 times for ppu and per capacity but if you have data set refresh via api that's also possible you can use using powershell or tsml so you can refresh your data sets but if you have pro license even though if you are refreshing it through a scheduled refresh or uh, through an api there is a limitations you cannot able to refresh more than eight times a day if you have pro license whereas if you have premium per capacity scheduled refresh is 48 times a day but refresh via api is unlimited and also you can refresh at any time you want but as per the recommendation if you have a refresh requirement like if you want to refresh it below 15 minutes then it is good to use the direct query instead of using an import mode because the refresh itself will take some time to refresh right so it is good to directly go with the direct query if you need a near real-time data but for power bi premium per user there is no information available so i kept it blank but i believe it is the same like power bi premium per capacity and data set refresh duration limit so if you are using a scheduled refresh of a data set so there is a limitations uh, here if you have pro license then it has two hours limit if the refresh takes longer than two hours then you will get an error message for that 
and whereas if you have power bi per capacity it will take up to 5 hours and if it goes beyond 5 hours then it will throw an error for you but for premium per user there is no information available i also think the same it will be 5 hours and data set query caching this is a kind of uh, new features i mean the recent features where you can if you are using an import model then you can keep your cache data into power bi memory service memory there it will increase the performance of your report whenever user interact with that one so there is an option on the data set settings for this if you have premium per capacity then only you can able to see this option if you have both pro and ppu then you may not able to see this feature and data set incremental refresh so this is actually available for all the users which is not mentioned in the documentation but it's a separate documentation where we can use this feature if you have all these three licenses and visual rendering so basically the power bi premium per capacity recently changed from gen 1 to gen 2 right so there is no information available about the visual rendering in gen 2 sorry in gen 1 but in gen 2 as per the documentation the 225 seconds limitation is there if your query is running beyond 225 seconds then for that visual it will throw an error that it limits the expected 225 seconds limitations so there is no settings available for us in our capacity in gen 2 in order to change these settings because in gen 1 we have the capacity we have options to change the capacity settings but in gen 2 it is automatically managed by power bi itself so we don't have any kind of options in order to change the settings of the timeout so we make sure whenever you develop a report to consider these things also and automatic aggregation of tables this also recently introduced which is available only for power bi premium per user and premium per capacity so it is not available for power bi pro licenses yeah last, when it comes to data flow the regular data flow you can use it if you have all the license like pro premium per user and premium per capacity but the below one which is here like the incremental refresh direct query to data flows and linked and computer entities like if you want to copy uh, duplicate and reference tables and enhanced compute engine and also streaming data flows which is in preview so all these features it is not available for pro it is only available for power bi premium per user and power bi premium per capacity see there are a lot of difference between pro and premium as of now right and coming to the last part is governance and administration so the features here like data security and encryption which is available for all the users like pro premium per user and premium per capacity and metrics for content creation consumption and publishing that's also available for all the users and application lifecycle management which is basically their deployment pipelines which is not available for pro license is available only for ppu and premium per capacity and multi geo deployment management like so it is only available for power bi premium per capacity so if you want to make one workspace to different location and one workspace to another location and for that you need to buy two different capacities and one capacity can be a different one like europe region and one can be in asia or us region based on to your work needs based on your uh, business needs you can change your capacity if you have premium per user license but if you have other licenses like pro and premium then basically it will be your home region where your main tenant is so and the next thing is bring your own key it's only available in premium per capacity and they recently introduced one auto scale add-on availability which is for the gen 2 it's only available for premium per capacity not for pro and premium per users so auto scale add-on is an additional capacity if you want to use it you can enable that option like for an example if you have p1 then you will get 8 core of cpu and 25 gb of ram 
so if you are using an additional core if you are hitting it capacity for eight cores during your processes and consumption so you can enable this auto scale right for this if you enable this one core or two core then it is going to charge you 85 dollar per 24 hours per core so it means if you want to need it for one hour that is not possible if it gets activated then it will be active for 24 hours and after that it will be automatically turned off so in that case make sure you read the documentation properly in order to use these features and the maximum storage of capacity is 10 gb per user if you have the pro license and if you have premium per user then it is 100 tb and if you have power bay premium per capacity then it is also 100 terabytes so these are all the existing available features now the hidden thing about the governance and administration is i have not seen much it is just about the premium gen 2 utilization metric app which you can install in your power bi app store so for usage metrics and analysis you can't able to see the report if you have power bi pro or premium per user licenses it's actually a tenant level thing so only if you have power bi premium per capacity you can able to use this app so the report level usage metric it is available for all these users so you can use that if you have power bi pro or power bi premium per use capacity user and if you want to make your own adoption metrics then in that case you need to use power bi rest aps in order to download the activity log from power bi service and then you can build your report on top of that but if you directly want to consume from activity log then it is available only for 30 days which is default when it comes to usage metrics report it is good to have download this one using a powershell script from power bi's activity log and then build your report on top of that